Good morning. Well, for me, it's morning. Now, it's pretty early. I don't know what time uh, you'll be watching this, but whatever time it is, I want to say hello, and I want to just share a few words with you. I want to talk to you about uh, anxiety in, in difficult times. Fear. How does a Christian deal with fear and anxiety in tumultuous times? And, you know, I, I have been reading through the Old Testament at a pretty quick pace. And one of the things it gives you is an overview of the Bible and an overview in some sense of history. And what I find is that there are many times, many places in the scripture where people have faced, um, they face famines, they have faced plagues, illnesses, different things that have happened. I mean, just to name a few, I mean, locusts would come and destroy a crop. Well, that was the equivalent of financial uh, crisis and and leprosy and different things like that people struggling with boils and diseases and different things um, that would face people so uh, it's not something that we should think is uncommon see we live at a time in history and in a country where a lot of things are there for us a lot of things have been done for us and sometimes that can create perhaps a softness uh, I mean, I think we're tough people, but maybe times like this give us the opportunity to become tougher. And yet the first thing that usually happens to us is we experience fear. And we don't know how to deal with things that haven't happened before. Um, there are places in the world where people face famines and, and plagues and different things like that. They don't have the medical expertise that we do to deal with it. But but here in America, I think we the wonders of the wonderful country we live in and this time that we live in are that we become soft and we are surprised when it comes to facing difficult times. See, we have lots of vaccines, right? We give them to our children. Some of us decide not to, most do. I was given vaccines as a child, but what we forget is a vaccine uh, means that there was a time previous to that, that there was a sickness that was terribly affecting the world. The vaccine was the product that came out of the, the plague or the illness, the, should I call it, a pandemic, whether it was smallpox or the black plague or polio or all of the different things, chickenpox and measles and all those things. I grew up with those things expecting I had no right. I, I didn't have to face any of those things because we had vaccines. But I didn't realize that there was a time in, our, in, in someone's life where that, that disease was or that virus was plaguing society, and the vaccine came out of that plague, in a sense. So um, I think we need to realize that this, uh, what we're going through now, gives us the opportunity to become stronger. Maybe like the idea of a callus. You see, calluses come in our lives when we use soft parts of our body that are not used very much. We use them, and then uh, a blister comes, which is painful, but after the blister comes a callus. And the callus gives us a greater toughness than we had before uh, the event that caused the blister. And that's what this pandemic, this coronavirus, gives us the opportunity to become stronger, stronger. And, and perhaps the vaccine, there will be a vaccine, you know that. And the vaccine that will be uh, developed will perhaps save the lives of our grandchildren or our great-grandchildren or others down the road. So let's go through this. Let's walk through this and take this opportunity as Christians to become stronger. I think a lot of us are strong, but we can become stronger. And I hope you'll take that opportunity. And one more thing I wanted to share as far as your perspective as we walk through this. Um, there's a verse in the Bible. It's in the epistle written to the Hebrews. That's the name of the book. In the, it's in the New Testament. It's called Hebrews. Chapter 9, verse 27, it says this. It is appointed unto man to die once, and then comes judgment. So we, we're told very clearly throughout the scriptures, and I think history bears this out as well, that we all will die. Death is inevitable. So behind most fear, deepest behind the fear is the fear of death, of dying. But for the Christian, why would we fear the inevitable? <laughs> it is appointed unto man, it is appointed unto Joe Centineo to die once. So that's the inevitable. Why would I fear the inevitable? 
I need to live my life knowing the inevitable is coming. But then the second part of the verse tells us what we should be concerned with. And then comes judgment. Judgment meaning we'll stand before God and we'll give an account for our lives. Now, I, I think since I became a believer in Christ in 1980, I, I've become a much better person than I was before that. But in and of myself, I could never stand a judgment before a perfect, holy, and righteous God on my own. But the judgment that I face someday is going to be as a believer in Jesus Christ. Jesus' righteousness, because I believe in him, his righteousness, his perfection is applied to my life because of my faith. So it is appointed unto Joe to die once. It's inevitable. I'm not going to worry about it. And then comes judgment. I know that the judgment I face will be under the shadow in under the arms of Jesus Christ and his love. And I know I'll make that judgment. I'll pass that judgment. And someday I'll be with him in heaven. And I look forward to that day. I hope you do as well. So as Christians, let's not fear. Let's walk in faith and in hope. God bless you. I hope this uh, makes your day a little better.